Hi guys, so today we're going to be making this cardstock baseball cap that's been trending all over social media, so stay tuned. So we're going to be starting off with three pieces of cardstock 12 by 12, and I actually bought um, this design twice. This is another one that I bought from another company, but the one I'm going to be using, the SVG, is actually from S. VG cuts as you can see here this is the website that's the price for it and you can download it directly from the website okay so after you purchase it you'll get this folder with all the instructions and all the different sheets for all the different pieces of the hat included Okay, so now I have my purple cardstock that I have attached to my Cricut mat. And I use some of that blue Cricut tape and I'm just gonna feed it into my machine. And then you literally just upload the different attachments. It's three different attachments in the SVG. So you'll have to cut each attachment individually. And it does say in the instructions that you should size the attachment to 11.4 in which as soon as I uploaded it, it was already sized to 11.4. So I didn't have to mess with it. So I'm just going to go through and actually cut these. I didn't have to do anything to them. They were already sized. And so I'm just feeding my cardstock in and I'm going to go through and cut the three different pages on three different. Like I said, you need three different sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. Okay guys, so we got everything cut out. This is one of the sheets. That's how it came out with the top pieces of the hat and some of the bottom pieces. So I'm just organizing all my pieces. I have six pieces and this is the bottom. That's the base of the hat. You're actually going to end up with three of those, which I only ended up with two because my paper did get stuck. So I had to trash one of them. So you only see me end up with two, but you'll have three. And then you also see that I cut out the logo and the new era hat sticker. I just downloaded those from Google and printed them out on regular paper. I decided to do the brim of my hat in gold. And then it gives you a top piece for the hat that was purple, but I actually... Um, cut that piece out in gold as well just to give the hat a little gold accent on top So now we're going to organize all the different pieces and I'm going to be using um, Glue and tape and also my hot glue gun What I did learn while doing this if I was to do it again, I would use hot glue for all of it um, the only issue with the hot glue is that you have to perfectly line these pieces up and the hot glue dries so, dries so fast, it doesn't give you time to line them up very quickly. So that's why I started with the Elmer's glue, but then you'll see me end up going over to the hot glue. And you have to move quickly because you have to both line up the pieces um, perfect, but then you also have to move fast because the hot glue melts quickly. And so that piece I just did, I just glued the two bases together. Like I said, you'll have three. So what I did notice with these pieces is that some of them cut with the dotted line you can fold back, but some of them didn't. Um, so I just had to fold them. And when you're folding this part, make sure that you fold them all the right way. You'll see once I, the correct, I'm sorry, the same way. You'll see once I start putting it together that I folded some of them the opposite way. So I had to go in and fix it because they all have to be folded the same direction for them all to like fit together. See, this is where I got confused because I couldn't figure out how they fit together. And it was only because I had folded some of them 
in the opposite direction so it didn't give me like a puzzle that fit together so once i figured out that they all needed to be folded the right way it was easy for me to put it all together And then this step, as you can see, I'm using the glue and then I'm reinforcing it with tape. But I, if I was to do it again, I would use hot glue on this portion just because I had to go back in and reinforce some of the, um, some of the intersections between the two pieces just because they didn't stick as well. But like I said, when you're working with that hot glue, you have to move fast because it dries quickly. And so this, um, I just lined all the six pieces up together and then you take the two ends and you're gonna bring those two together so you can complete like kind of like a circle or like a hexagon So now that we've got the six pieces together and we are going to glue the border down to the base and so we're going to just make sure we line up the shapes and then we're going to glue it down. And there we have the bottom structure. So now we're gonna get that brim onto the hat, the gold brim, and I'm just gonna glue that down. I tried to center it as much as possible, but like I said, I'm working with the hot glue. So I had to move fast. So now we're gonna insert the bottom of the box and you can glue that down if you like. I didn't glue mine down. And what that piece does is it covers up the little flaps that we glue down and then it also gives your box structure. Um, it makes the, I noticed that it wasn't as flimsy once I put that part down in the bottom. So it gives it even more support at the bottom. Now we're gonna move on to the top portion of the hat box. And these are all the pieces. We're gonna do those the same way that we did the other six pieces. And then you notice that one piece is actually different. It has like a little hole at the bottom and that's for the back of the hat. So keep that in mind when you're putting together that that's the actual back of the hat. The same rules apply for this. Make sure that when you're folding 
all the pieces for the top of the hat that you're folding them all the same way so when you lay them down make sure you folded them all if you folded them all if you folded one up make sure you fold the rest of them up if you folded them down then fold the rest of them down but they have to be going the same way so they can all fit and lock into each other with this part i found that it's easier to glue them together if you have them kind of curved because the hat is like a, almost like a dome shape so you need each piece kind of curved for them to fit together and on this part i used the hot glue gun and then you're just gonna glue those like we did the other but this part is very tricky um, because you have to try to get it lined up as straight and even as possible and then you also have to work fast, like I said before, because you're working with the glue gun. So this probably was the most tricky part of the whole design. Um, but yeah, just make sure when you're working um, with this part that you get them lined up as evenly as possible as you can, because it's going to affect how the top of your hat actually fits onto the bottom of the hat so i got mine pretty even but not as even as i would like so it didn't fit exactly over it fit over the, the top but it didn't fit exactly so make sure when you're doing yours that you line it up and don't leave too much extra space um like you see there um because you need that extra space for it to actually fit over the bottom of the hat And there we have the top of the hat. Like I said, it depends on how straight you actually glue your pieces. It will depend on the shape of the top of your hat. Now I'm just pulling out the extra little strings from the hot glue. And then I'm going to glue the little gold piece that we cut out on top to be the little, the little piece on the top of the hat. And then I'm going to cut out the sticker and the logo, the Lakers logo that I found on Google. I'm gonna just cut those out and then I'll just glue those on with regular glue.
and there we have it guys not so hard it was actually pretty easy just a little tricky gluing the pieces together but this is how it looks i put some of the little um shredded paper in there you can add whatever you want i added a little mini alcohol bottle and some matching strawberries but you can put whatever you want in yours guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel bye guys Thank you.